All righty. What's going on, guys? Saturday MLB. I usually don't do weekend videos, but I'm so red hot right now. I want to get you more opinions while I'm dialed in to try to put more cash in your pocket. Look at the numbers. Look at the text on the screen. That's the text that went out to clients uh, for June 28th. Another four in one day on an absolute heater right now, guys. You see the numbers on the screen. I'm 11 and two in the MLB on baseball in the last three days. Up, closing in on 13 units of profit in just the last five days. I've had profitable winning days seven out of my last 10 days. I'm one of the best in baseball as for right now. Hop on board. Link to my website in the description, guys. Danspicks.net. You can get a week of my picks, month of my picks, whatever you want to do. But jump on board. Get on this heater. We're locked in right now. We're going to keep the ball rolling. Feel great. I like the games today. Uh, we're going to have some pretty hefty plays, guys. You don't want to miss these. We're going to keep putting money in the bank. Absolutely. Let's just get right into today's video. I should be asleep right now. Uh, I'm just doing this warp speed, getting you guys kind of a bonus weekend video. Let's go through the games. Again, link to my website in the description. You cannot be missing out. When I'm hot, I'm as hot as they get. And uh, I'm red hot right now. We're going to put together another winning day here for Saturday and the weekend overall. Um, so jump on board, head over to the website, grab whatever package you want. Let's go, baby. MLB, what do we got for Saturday? We're going to start off at 2 o'clock Eastern time, Rockies, White Sox. Uh, White Sox are minus 102 on the money line with Cannon pitching. We got Quantrill on the mound for the Rockies. I guess give me the Rockies in this spot. Quantrill actually hasn't been too, too bad this year. Uh, and I'm not even somebody who really likes him as a starting pitcher. Uh, but I'll go with the Rockies here. Money line minus 116. Next game down, uh, we got the Reds. We got the Cardinals. Gray on the mound versus Spears. Uh, probably go cards here. Maybe look at the run line at plus money. The minus one and a half for the Cardinals at home is plus 118. Probably the way you want to look in that game. Maybe look at the under for the full game. Uh, Yankees got back on track. They got the Blue Jays here. They're a minus 126 favorite with Cortez on the mound. Uh, he's a good pitcher. He's okay. I just would rather have him at home in New York here in Toronto. Uh, Toronto, I don't love him as much. We got Bassett on the mound for the Blue Jays. Um, this one's tough for me. Maybe look at an over. Uh, the, the, the total's currently sitting at an even eight, uh, but I got to go Yankees, man. They got the bats. Uh, back on track, offense is back on track. They exploded, and it's just going to be hard to keep them down. Uh, so offensively, you know, you could look at the full run line as well. You could look at Yankees minus one and a half plus 132 price on that. Uh, Miami Philly, uh, again, just a series I'm not interested in. I mean, just crazy prices. Nola on the mound uh, against just a horrible pitcher. Philly should get it done. I guess you just lay the one and a half. It's minus 120, a little bit juicy, uh, but unless some crazy things happen. I mean, we saw the Marlin get their first victory. You know, they got, they, they got the game, the game one victory uh, versus the Phillies in this series. And I was actually on the Marlins in that game, told you guys in that video, but here, I don't know, I guess Phillies run line or pass for me. Next game down, uh, Skeens on the mound versus the Braves. Is this finally a game where Skeens uh, gets rocked a little bit? I don't know, man. Uh, at the same time, Freed's been pretty good. I would look at the run line. Even if Skeens has a good, you know, five, maybe even six innings here, I just don't like Pittsburgh bullpen, man. Uh, so give me the Braves here. I'll lay the one and a half runs with them, plus 128. Next game down, we got the Cubs, we got the Brewers, we got Steele on the mound, we got Myers on the mound. Maybe look at a full game under eight and a half, but I probably got to go Brew Crew at home here. Uh, a minus 112 price for the Brewers at home. I think they can get the job done. Uh, Cleveland Royals here, man. I've been on the Royals. Been telling you guys the Royals, man. I knew everybody after that Orioles series would jump all over the Guardians versus this Royals team who kind of went through a little rocky stretch. But a lot of those were road games. You guys got to remember the Royals are a home team kind of a kind of bet. You know, you want to be backing them at home. They're still at home. Reagan's on the mound. I mean, everybody's going to think it's almost impossible for the Guardians to lose three in a row versus the Royals. I'm not a Bybee guy. Give me the Royals again. Royals at home, money line, minus 116. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Next game down, Astros, Mets. Uh, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Astros here. They got Valdez starting. He should be able to go, you know, five or six in this game. Uh, the Mets are just wildly, wildly overdue for regression here. Give me the Astros, money line, minus 120. Next game down, Athletics Diamondbacks. No interest here. We got Gallon on the mound. He should pitch phenomenal. The run line with the Diamondbacks should be safe. Just not a series I'm really interested in. 
I, I want the Diamondbacks at plus money on the road if I'm going to back them. If you have to bet this game, I would lay the full one and a half. At least it's plus 105. Next game down, we got the Padres. We got the Red Sox. We got Hauk, Tanner Hauk going at uh, Fenway here for the Sox. We got King going for the Padres. I don't know, man. This is just kind of one of those spots where I'll just kind of repeatedly take the Padres. Uh, a road underdog. At plus 124 on the money line, sure, give me the Padres. Nationals raise was on the raise as a full one unit bet yesterday. We got Savale going. We got Irvin going. Uh, this is just a total toss up. These these pitchers are inconsistent. I don't know what we're gonna get out of the pitching staff. This is either like a a, a, a two to one raise win in ugly fashion, or it's maybe like a six to three nationals win, is kind of how I see this one going. I don't think there's a lot of in between, just kind of an erratic game. Uh, but the Rays have been red hot lately, man. They've been absolutely red hot. There's no way to disagree with that. Uh, so, you know, consider that for what it is. Next game down, we got Glasnow going for the Dodgers. Uh, I just watched that game finish up. Again, another full one-unit play. We had the Giants yesterday on the money line. I don't know. Glasnow on the road, oftentimes actually better than when he's at home. Sometimes at home he gets rocked. Uh, but they're a hefty price, man. 225 I mean, the Giants are capable. Uh, this is just a clear pass for me. Just a clear pass. Uh, maybe look at the under in that game. Next game down, we got the Rangers. We got the Orioles. Uh, Povich on the mound. We got Lorenzen going for the Rangers. A uh, little bit inconsistent. Maybe he can pitch well here. Uh, but the Orioles offense is just something I don't want to go against. They've just been finding ways to win. Uh, they struggled a little bit, but it was against good competition against the Rangers. They've been doing just fine. This is a tough one. Minus 146. Is this just a juicy money line? You got to just kind of eat the juice on and, and just go with the money line for the Orioles and hope they can get it done, even if they have to do it in in in, in you know in the late innings uh, when Lorenzen is potentially out of the game. I like the Orioles' chances if it's close late. I'll leave it at that. Next game down, Tigers-Angels, clear pass. Uh, Olsen on the mound, Canning on the mound. Maybe a full game under. It's eight and a half. Maybe this is like a four to two, three to two type game. Maybe look at the under. And the last game here for Saturday, I'm just cranking along here, guys, trying to keep this video under 10 minutes for you just to get my opinion for you guys for free. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Those, both of those things are free. Always appreciate it here, guys. Uh, we got the Twins. We got the Mariners. We got the Mariners with Miller on the mound at plus 100. It is a home, home, uh, home night game for the Mariners. Lopez has been okay, uh, but I do think the Twins are just getting a little bit juicy in terms of everybody betting on them. Uh, give me the Mariners here. I guess I'll take plus 100 with the home team. Uh, nighttime uh, home game for the Mariners. Generally a spot where they perform a little bit better offensively. If Miller can pitch halfway decent against the Twins, which is not easy. The Twins offense is actually uh, it's pretty solid. So uh, it, 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 maybe look at the first five innings, actually. Maybe look at the first five. Uh, just go with the starting pitching advantage here. Uh, in the home field advantage for the Mariners. So I don't know, maybe Mariners money line, maybe first five innings Mariners money line. Uh, but there you go, guys. That's Saturday. Again, double check, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. And again, link to the website is in the description. Look at those numbers. You're really not going to join this. You can get a full week of my picks for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. It's not even like a tank. It's like a half a tank of gas. Get on board, get a full week of my picks, start putting money in your pocket. Catch you guys in the next video.